Hey, what's up, and welcome to live.besttechie.net, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions, and everything technology related. I got an email the other day from a company called Fruitful um, Productivity, and what they, Fruitful Time, I'm sorry, Fruitful Time Productivity, and they created an application. So far, it's only Windows based, um, but hopefully, they'll have a Mac version out in the future. And basically, what this software does is unlike online um, productivity sites or applications, these Web 2.0 services, uh, where you have to sometimes manually enter information, what this does is it installs a program onto your computer and you can access it uh, via your browser. And basically what it does is it records whatever's going on on your machine, what web pages uh, you spend the most time on, what applications you spend the most time on, um, and so on and so forth. And it really does a great job of breaking down how much time you spend on each application, um, different days of the week, so on and so forth. And even it tells you your, your, uh, your, active, your active time on the computer versus your idle time on the computer. It's really kind of cool. I'm going to show it off right here. It's currently only Windows based. And I sent the developer an email because he, he actually emailed me wanted me to look into this program and he said, I said, I'll, sure, I'll check it out. So I'm checking it out and I'm going to switch this over to my, uh, my main machine. Um, so you guys can see what's actually going on on the screen right here. So I'm going to switch it to my desktop in one second. Here we go. Now you should be able to see the fruitful time, um, application. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, as if I scroll in a little bit, you'll see the different details right here. Right, this is my active time for this hour, two o'clock on today. And this is my inactive time, eight percent, eight point zero one percent, and I've been active for twenty one point sixty six percent. Now, if you scroll over here, you'll see all the uh, based on the last couple of uh, you know this based on this today really, um, this July fourth, January fourth. I'm sorry, two thousand nine, and you'll see this is the overall active versus idle time. But over here, you can see what applications uh, and, time and time distribution I spend the most on. Right now, Merck is running where all the chat is on the IRC chat room and wildride.org's uh, pound best techie. Um, best techie. You can see I have this open right now for six minutes. I've had Windows Explorer open for about four minutes, five minutes or so. 127.0.0.1 is where you access your, um, your information. Um, right here, it's just it's just on local host. So you go to your local host in your browser, and it'll pop up the Fruitful Time Productivity Meter, which is the name of the software. I spend some time on Google.com, Mail.Google.com, Google Chrome is what I'm using to serve the web right now, BestTechie.net, so on and so forth. Now, if I scroll down, you'll see top. You can it gives you the top applications. So right here, I I spent nine minutes on Google Chrome, along with Merck, six minutes, and so on and so forth top websites it breaks it down even more what websites you spend the most time on you can even tag um, you know and uh, different sites and programs and whatnot um, so if you wanted to say you had a email tag or a, a, a internet tag and then you app you all the associated programs that went under the internet tag were like Merck Google talk Google Chrome maybe Outlook or something like that that way you can really break it down and make it very easy you can do the same thing for domains. Like if I had a best techie tag, for example, and I wanted to, you know, see how much time I spent on all the best techie sites, you know, you could do it like that. Same thing for all the windows, um, when, like Explorer windows and whatnot. Very easy to use, very simple to uh, set up. You just install it and you launch it in your browser. It's really that easy. It starts recording automatically. Um, and you can see just, it's really simple. I just refresh the page and now I've had Merck open for 13 minutes. And you can really just see how simple it is to really set up. Um, there is another application that works on both. And this, by the way, is not free. It's free for personal use. But as you see, it says after 30 days, the timesheet function will be disabled unless you get a key. Um, I, I wish it was free, but unfortunately it's not. I don't think it's that expensive. Um, I forgot the exact price of it. You can check it out on their website. Though. I'll put a link to it in the show notes or the video description and also the blog post. Now there was another application that was pointed out to me by my friend Kevin Nunez, K Nunez on twitter.com. It's called Slife. It works on both Windows and Mac. 
and it's completely free. Um, it doesn't break down the uh, idle time and the active and the active time, and it doesn't have the nice graphs like um, fruitful time productivity meter. But it does um, allow you to set goals based on your activities. So let's say you only based on activities that you want to check email, for example. You only want to spend say 30 minutes checking your email. You can set a goal. I I'm on checking email right now. I go scroll down and click goal, um, and basically it'll pop up a window which is actually popped up over here let me scroll it over pop up a window and you can set spend uh i want to spend you know less than i don't know 10 out you know 30 minutes checking my email and you click ok and you're set um so that way if you that way you can keep track of whether you know you're keeping your goal or not which is kind of cool uh it really breaks down what you've been look I, I had the fruitful time productivity meter email open for about 13 seconds I had my YouTube page open for another 10 seconds I had K nuns which is a inside joke um, Twitter open for another eight seconds um, you can check out application usage I've had slife open for about two minutes now um, VMware fusion has been open I think I have to refresh this but you know you get the point it's actually pretty neat um, and you can Jeff, you can check your usage and whatnot throughout the month and the day. Uh, I wish it had, I wish it had nicer graphs. Um, that would be really cool. Unfortunately, it doesn't have that at the moment. Uh, maybe in a future version it will. And, but nonetheless, the application is pretty neat. And I hope that, you know, if everyone's looking to be more productive, um, as they use the computer, so you can get more things done. So it's kind of cool. These applications are definitely worth a shot to check out at least. To see, you know, even if you just want to see how much time you spend online or on a particular website, for that matter, it's kind of cool to see, you know, how much actually how much time you actually spend on the computer versus how much time you spend away. Probably for me, I spend too much time on the computer. That's another story. Uh, you can visit us at live.besttechy.net, and uh, you know, feel free to drop by the chat room. We're always in there chatting away. Or if you need computer help and you're not in the chat, you can just stop by the forums at besttechy.net slash forums. Or you can even send me an email at besttechy at besttechy.net or jeff at besttechy.net. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been live.besttechy.net. Until then, we'll see you next time. And remember, take care of your computers.